What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Division 2. And one kind of controversial subject that kind of leads up to tomorrow's raid being released is that there will be no matchmaking. Now I can see kind of what a lot of people mean when they say that it's not a big deal that there's no matchmaking, but I also can understand why a lot of people say it is a big deal that there is no matchmaking. So I can kind of understand both sides of the disagreement with the matchmaking uh, kind of not being in-game. Now, of course, you could be in a clan. A lot of people are in clans. There are 50 max players in a clan. So I'm sure between 50 people you can find someone to play with as long as they're all kind of in the same or around the same time zone that you are located in. So you can be on at the same time. That would be the only issue I see with a group from a clan but most people I'm sure do not know all 50 members of the clan some people may not know any members some people may only have a few friends within that clan or only play with a few people within that clan you know every day or even just on harder kind of missions you know things of that nature maybe once a week or something they play with some of those clan members you are going to have to have eight players to play in this new raid so Almost, if you're playing with random clan members, it's almost like already being match made with someone, so I don't understand why matchmaking is not available. Um, the people that I feel, I guess, the worst for is the just true solo players or players that maybe don't want to be in a clan and play with just a couple of friends because they're not going to be or have the option to have eight players to play in this raid. And I think everyone should be... Uh, able to get the same amount of, of items or content or everyone should have the option to get anything within the game and I'm sure that some of the stuff that's going to come within the raid may be better that you better items that you can get in the open world or doing other activities so I do feel bad for those solo players and I, I understand when a lot of people say if there was matchmaking it's just going to be a kick fest which it probably would I mean that that is just the truth but that also could be the case with random clan members. You may not get in there and pull your weight the way they think you should, and they may kick you anyway. So either way, like I said, I can see people's points of why they wish there was matchmaking and why some say it does not matter. But overall, I do feel the worst for solo players because I feel no matter what game you play, you should have the access to all of the content within the game. You should not have to do something you know, outside of what you're comfortable with to get that kind of content. Uh, and it almost reminds me of Destiny, and that was a big issue, especially in the first Destiny game, that there was no matchmaking for raids. Maybe at some point they will add matchmaking, or maybe they will add some type of raids that are smaller group raids, like four-man, like the original Division game. And that way, if you're, you know, you and some of your friends want to go play it, you can. But hopefully everyone can find them a group, whether they be in a clan or in the uh, probably uh, tons of websites will have, you know, raid finding groups up. But it's kind of disappointing for the solo players as well, like I said. So leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about it. Do you think the game should allow matchmaking? I know it's kind of a disappointment this day and age. A game does not allow matchmaking for everything. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.